How sloppy. Hey everyone, I'm Nathan, though you may know me better from my stream where I go by SF Smallpox. In this episode of my Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle tutorial series, I'll be going over a few mix ups for one of my favorite characters in the game, New 13. So let's get started. New 13's most unique feature is her B attack, which summons a sword that flies across this whole stage and can, in fact, combo opponents from practically anywhere on the screen. It's easy to think that this makes her a strict zoning character, but you actually have a variety of tools that complement this ability that involve getting close up. The most important of these is the Act Parser. This is a command dash that you can execute during the second and third hits of the Summon Sword's auto combo, as well as during the second and third hits of New's A attack auto combo. It goes a fixed distance, either straight forwards or backwards and at an angle. Your options out of these two different dashes are very versatile, so let's go over them. Let's start by talking about the forward act parser. The situation you'll often find yourself in is that you'll be at mid-range and your opponent will be blocking your summon swords. So you'll act parser forwards, get behind them, and then hit them with a sudden cross-up. When you do this, it's best to take one of two approaches. Either trust that they won't block the cross-up, and hit them with a normal combo starting with a stand A attack. Or go low to mix them up further and hit them with a crouch A straight into a crouch C. New 13's Crouch A can chain to Stand A, but her normals are very stubby, and more often you'll want to go into Crouch C to be safe. The combo path is essentially the same either way anyways. Your goal is to hit them with an EX pinwheel and then combo into Summon Swords from there. Forward Act Parser is actually really, really unsafe, and if you do it too much the opponent will begin to punish you just by pressing basically any button. So here's how you keep that from happening. If you call assist before using Act Parser, the assist will appear on the opposite side of the opponent from where you end up. However, if you call it sooner, it will hit them on the side where you started, and if you call it later, it'll cross them up and hit where you ended. In both cases, the assist covers your Act Parser, making it safe for you to press buttons. This is also why I like to pair New 13 with Ragna. His neutral assist wall bounces on hit and gives you ample time to react to the hit. Most neutral assists will work just fine, however. You just gotta be sure to react with the correct button at the correct time. Your other option for forward act parser is to not even use it during your summon swords. If you act parser out of a blocked A attack auto combo, you'll be at the perfect range to launch more summon swords at the opponent. You'll technically be at disadvantage, but you'll be so far away from the opponent that most punishes they could attempt will probably fall short and just result in them getting hit by summon swords. There are plenty of punishes that they can do, but most of them involve burning resources like assist bar or super meter. Of course, you could always just not act parser and throw a pinwheel at them to really throw them off. If they're prepping to block the cross up, you might just hit them when they're holding forward towards you. And if you call him soon enough, Ragnar's assist will pick the enemy up for you and give you a combo. But what about going backwards with act parser? What's that good for? Well, to begin with, you can block after you Act Parser backwards. Going into Act Parser, then just gently floating to the ground, will ensure you're safe from practically anything your opponent can do. If they full screen super, you can block it. But the thing is, I rarely block after a backwards Act Parser. This is because after you Act Parser backwards, you can immediately start shooting at the opponent from the air. And those summon swords can also be cancelled into an act parser. The normal flow of this will be making the opponent block summon swords, cancelling into backwards act parser, making them block more summon swords that you fire at them from the air, then cancelling into forwards air act parser, and doing an A attack as you fall. From there, you can go into an A attack auto combo whether you hit the opponent or not. This pathway is extremely hard to block. It leads into more mix-ups if your opponent does block it, and it doesn't require you to use any resources. New 13's mix-ups don't end there, however. New 13's A attack auto combo is a little strange. The second hit can be jump cancelled on block. You might have also noticed that she has a rather disjointed air C attack. Well, that air C attack has no minimum height requirement, and it, it can hit any character in the game while they're crouching. What this means is that you have a universal instant overhead. What you want to do is do A, chain into the second A while they're blocking, jump cancel either directly upwards or backwards to ensure that your jump C doesn't go past them, 
and then call an assist to make sure that you can combo off of it afterwards. You can also go right into super if you're interested in not burning the assist meter. If the opponent is blocking high, go into crouch C instead of air C, then cancel into EX pinwheel for a combo. So with all that, you basically know how to do mix-ups with New 13. That's not every tool the character has, but it's what I've found to be most useful once you start to get the opponent blocking. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll be back with another tutorial soon. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.